guys, it's me, Christina. Um, this will be the last day that you see this here and this where it's at. Because my uh, hot water was finally fixed today after a week of no hot water. I know I've been doing a lot of complaining, but taking a sponge bath in a bowl isn't fun. Um... But thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Um, he came through. So, I wanted to share um, a small haul, um, as and also um, a, a a little testimony. I told you guys yesterday when I was showing you my Bible and my my journal. I I told you I had a little testimony that I wanted to share. Um, so I'm gonna share that. But first. Um, let's get to the, the haul. It's a very small haul. Thing. I think there's only like two or three things. Did I move, y'all? Did I? Whatever. Okay. The first thing that I got, and I'm just moving y'all all over the place. All over the place. Okay. The first thing I got was this placement this uh it's actually a rug and it says hello there um and i will be putting this on my desk see it read it i don't know anyways this is gonna go down on my desk um number one for protection and number two just because it's pretty and it's something a little prettier to look at and it's a little bit bigger um so I don't have to make sure that, you know, because what I have underneath it here is just paper. This is a paper pad opened up to two pages. Um, so if I, if I do this, you know, there's more space, more room to, to show stuff. <laughs> okay, the next thing I found, these are napkins. Um... These are napkins, and I saw these, and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Um, I definitely am going to take one, and, um, what's it called? <laughs> you guys know I'm always forgetting words. I'm definitely going to gonna take one and, um, laminate it. There we go. And like put it in a journal or whatever or use as a coaster. I'm definitely going to laminate one to use as a coaster. And let me show you what for. I saw this. This cup. And I'm doing my room in Alice in Wonderland. I'm actually going to be painting a mural over there. And I wanted a cup. To put like all my tabs in. So I could just like not have to look for two million different places to find my tabs. I could just have them all in, in this cup. Um, But I saw this cup and what it reminded me of is when Alice in Wonderland was um, in the field of the flowers. The one flower um, gave her like a little cup for a cup of tea and she, she bit into it. Was it with the flowers that she did that? Or was it with the tea pots? Um, anyways. This reminded me. Of, of that. Um, cup. That little. Um, also. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's the other. Thing. That I'm thinking of. Is on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. They had, you know butter cups and um or butterscotch cups rather and after you drank out of them you picked them from the flower and drank from them you you could eat the cup and that's just what this reminded me of they had they had yellow teal and pink and I picked the yellow just because I don't know I just really like it yellow is one of my favorite colors um bright like butterscotch uh well i call it nanner yellow um i don't have a sample in here to show you but 
Nanner Yellow is one of my favorite colors. Yellow, teal, and pink are are my favorite colors, whether they be pastel or bright. Yellow, teal, and pink are my favorite colors. So I saw this and I was like, oh, I want it in yellow. I want it in yellow. So I got that. Um, so that's what I got today at Dollar General. Um, I've got some things from Timu that I also wanted to share with you guys. It's these little bottles. They have the little, oh, one of the lids fell off. They have this little tiny needle tip. I can't tell if y'all can see. They have this little tiny needle tip. Um, you could put glue in here. You could put, um, glitter, glue, well, no, that might get stuck. Um, acrylic paint in here that's a little more watery. Um, anything like that you could use in, in here. Um... We got some of these here for using ink pads. And um, I got these three also of the bottles. And they're slightly, they're slightly bigger bottles. And then I got some um, little squares of fabric. And also, let me pull these out. These as well. Oh, come on. These are from Timu. I'm saving this for something special. And then I have one that's like this as the spine of my Bible. Okay. These take off the backing um these are kind of like that jelly like plastic -y kind of stuff um but this set is holographic oh it's under so i got this set of holographic ones and there's all different colors and then this set of star ones. And there's, you know, pink, orange, green, white, which that's got bent up, um, blue. Like a teal color, a darker blue, um, and a yellow. So I need this one needs to I need to fix these because the edges of these are starting to get a little cray cray. So that's a little collective haul for you guys. Um, let me set these over right here.
Yeah, so I want to take one of these and laminate it and use it like as a little coaster to sit my little cup on. Um, I can't wait to fill that up with some, with some of my most used tabs. And then I said I would share a testimony with you guys. Um, I've had to remake some of those videos. <laughs> and so um, I, I forget kind of how much I've said or, or what I've talked about. Um, but the testimony is it's been difficult for me to be in my, to want to be in my craft room. I mean, y'all have, have seen that I make videos from my bedroom, sometimes from my living room, even sometimes from my kitchen, but it's been really difficult to be in my woman, woman cave until recently until recently. I've not wanted to be in here. Um, I've changed it around. I'm changing it back around. But it just being in here reminded me of who I was before the heart failure. You know, because my heart was 10 only at 10%. So it's it's been a long journey of healing and God's been so good in that department. But um, I was telling telling the girls um one thing that was the biggest struggle for me is is having to kind of mourn that version of myself. You know, I I remember I remember when um after I, I first got sick and I was trying so hard to come in here and craft. Um and I would come in here and craft for like ten minutes and then go lay down. And then come back for another five minutes. I tried so hard, but um, my energy, I had no energy at that time. I, my body was still getting used to the medicines and I was like a zombie for six months. So every time I would come in here, I would just be reminded of what I didn't have the energy to do and what I didn't have the focus to do. And it would just, rem coming in here reminded me of a part of myself that I will probably never get back, you know? Um, unless God miraculously heals me, which he absolutely could, and I still expect it. Unless God miraculously heals me, I will always have heart failure. Which means I will always deal with lack of energy. I will always deal with low days. I will always deal with um, times where I'm just having a difficulty um, standing up for long periods of time. But the, the testimony is, I've been so enjoying my craft room again. I've been staying in here, like, all day. I'll do what I need to do, but then I'm in here for, like, all night until, like, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. As you guys have seen, that's what time I'm, I've been making videos. Um, and I just enjoy it, and I turn on my radio, and, you know, I... I I'm filming videos, I'm in my Bible, and I feel so close to my old self. It almost confuses me. I feel so close to, to my old self that that sometimes I even forget that I'm sick. The only way that I can tell that I have heart failure is by the exhaustion. Um... And I have my, my good days and my bad days. There are, are, I'll have like three or four good days in a row where I am at it. I'm about it. I'm doing this stuff. I'm up and moving. But then after those good two or three days, I'm, I'm done for another two or three days. I'm, I'm in bed. Um, and it's not because I'm lazy. It's not because I don't, I'm not trying. It's because, you know, your body goes through a lot. Like you don't understand. Like I didn't. I I didn't really understand how much my heart was responsible for. So the um the exhaustion has gotten better. The days in between being stuck in bed are longer and more often, and I'm really feeling 
like my old self. It's been a struggle. It's been an uphill struggle. I've had my good times and my bad times. I've had extreme highs and extreme lows. But I feel like now, for the first time since my heart failure, I really feel I'm at a good steady pace. And I feel like myself. I'm excited about my craft room. I want to decorate. I, I can finally clean it now that I don't have to make sure that I have a path. I can finally clean it. I'm going to do that when I'm done. Um, but I'm excited to be in here. I'm excited to, you know, to take care of my house. I, I just, I feel more and more every day like my old self. And that is such a huge, huge testimony for me. Because that's one thing that I really asked of God. It's like, you know, God, the heart, the heart failure, you'll hear that, you'll heal that in your, your time. If that's, if that's what you, if that's your will, you'll heal it in your own time. And I'll get, I'll get through that. Um, but I just want to be back to me again. I want to be back to me. I want to be in my craft room and, and working and doing things that I love to do and taking care of my home and working in my garden. I want to be doing those things. And it's been a long struggle. <laughs> it's been a long struggle to get to this place where I finally feel like myself in, in multiple aspects. I feel like myself. Um... So I just I'm saying this testimony, um, not to feel sorry for me, because please don't ever do that. God is so good to me. Um, but I'm saying this testimony because if you're going through a struggle and it feels like there's never going to be an end or it's just an uphill battle, um, you will reach the top of the hill. You will reach it. You you might have to work hard. You might have to cling to belief and faith and cling to a pick a scripture for the battle and cling to it pick a, a song for the battle and cling to it hold on to faith because i am living proof that whatever you're going through if you cling to jesus he will get you through it it's not easy and i've not always been perfect at this I've struggled at this, at the whole trusting God part. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that testimony that I, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling reinvigorated. I'm feeling like my old self, but better. Um, that's why the name changed. That's why I changed the name from his little sparrow to the whimsical sparrow because for so much of my life, I felt so fragile and so little. Um, and, you know, that's why he called me his little sparrow. But I don't feel so little anymore. I don't feel... So he still calls me, you know, just like any dad's going to still call their baby their baby. Uh, he still calls me his little sparrow. But I feel like I've upgraded to... That's why I've named it the Whimsical Sparrow. <laughs> um, but I will always be his little sparrow. Alright guys, be expecting more videos. Um, as I'm cleaning, when I get to the place where I'm organizing my desk, I will sit down with you guys and we'll fill up this cup together with lots of fun things. Um, whenever we get paid, we have to go near that Dollar General um, to, our bank is right, exactly right beside it, so, I saw, they had some more of these, they had, um, oh, what else, oh, they had this, like, cupcake platter thing, it was made out of tin, it was so cool, um, they had a couple of things like that that were in these same colors, so, I'm praying that they're still there by the time I go back, because I'd like to get the pink and teal one, and just have them here on my desk filled with little trinkets of things that I can, I can use. So, hopefully, well, no, the next time you see me, you will still be here. Um, maybe my desk will be a little bit cleaner. Who knows? But we'll be organizing my desk together. Um, other than that, God bless you guys. And 
have an awesome day and just hang on just hang on a little bit longer god bless you guys